Hi, Tracy here at USAKnifemaker.com. Today we're gonna just go through a quick run through on one way to sharpen a knife. There's uh, hundreds of ways to sharpen a knife. This is uh, what I've developed over time. Uh, and uh, this blade has about a 15, 16 thou edge on it. Not sharp yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a convex edge on this. And I'm gonna go through a series of about four or five belts and uh, put a convex on apple seed type edge uh, on there. Now I've, I've mounted a Zerk belt. This is a Zerk 120 and, a, and I went with a Zerk for a specific reason. As we sharpen, we're not gonna put a lot of pressure on and uh, on that and certainly don't wanna generate a bunch of heat. This is already hardened, 440C. Don't wanna take the temper, um, the hardness out of the edge. So I've got a bucket of water here. We'll be dipping frequently. I'll be constantly feeling the edge to make sure we're not getting above boiling. Uh, if, you're, if you're starting to see a color change in uh, the edge of the blade, you've already gone past the temper and you've actually softened up the edge. So we want to see absolutely no color change. I always grab a fresh new belt, especially for this first step to put that convex edge on there. Uh, I'll, quick passes, keep the heat down. I'll be constantly checking. A Zerk versus a ceramic. Ceramics are the toughest belts. Um, the Zerk is going to break down uh, better. It has uh, more friability. Uh, a ceramic belt, we're using such light pressure, simply would just go dull because you're not breaking up that abrasive and exposing sharp new edges. The uh, Zerk will do that a little better for you, so that's why we chose that particular belt instead of, say, a Blaze ceramic or a, a 3M Cubitron, that kind of thing. A uh, little bit lower quality belt on purpose. Then uh, once we get a convex edge established, uh, we're going to switch over to Norax uh, belts, and we'll go through four or five steps of those. We'll make a few passes. Now, as I'm grinding, I'm going to use a slack area right in here between the contact wheel and this flat platen on this on this homemade uh, flat platen we have here mounted on this Uber grinder. And uh, I'm going to be pressing in right on that part of it. Uh, we'll tighten that up. So I'm going to be pressing in right in this area, and that's actually going to give a little. And what we're going to have there is that's going to help build that convex, that apple seed type edge. And I'm going to be making a pass that way. And I'm going to feel if I'm grinding this way, edge up. Uh, I'll usually do edge up for the first few passes and then I'll switch to edge down. If I grind edge up and it catches in that belt uh, after it's fully sharpened, it's going to cut that belt. We're all going to have a bad day as the belt explodes all over. So I tend to grind uh, the initial grind edge up and then I'll switch to edge down just for safety reasons. Now as I'm grinding, for example, on edge up on this first, I'm going to make a pass, enough passes to get that down. I'll make a few passes. I tend to make two or three passes each side. Then I'm going to start feeling on the back side for that wire burr that bends over. As that metal grinds this way, there's going to be a burr that starts to come out and you're going to feel that all along the back side of the grind. And I'm going to feel along the edge all the way and make sure that burr is consistent, even. And when I get that, I'm going to switch to the other side. Okay? So let's get started and see how it goes. As I'm making my passes, trying to keep even pressure, and I'm rolling away on around that belly of the knife right there. And I want to keep that grind line even all the way along the edge, including up there. So I have to actually roll and twist my wrist a little bit. And I'm starting to get it thinned down. I'm down to five or six thou. No heat yet, nice sharp, and I can start to see the convex taking shape. After we get the basic convex formed, it all goes pretty quickly. Yes, the start of a wire edge starting to come over on some spots. I'm checking the edge to make sure it's even all the way. I can see it's a little thicker right back in here. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time there.
One of the things that I see beginners do all the time when they're grinding is they grind, 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 and then they check their work. Watch your work as you're grinding. And it's okay to look every pass. You can't just do four or five passes and then hope that it comes out. You check your work on every pass. Now I am starting to, there's a definite uh, wire edge starting to pop out there, so I'm pretty thin there. Uh, none there. Uh, all along I can start to feel a wire edge. So I'm going to switch to this side and I'll keep going until I get a full wire edge all the way across. No heat yet. The heat will come later on in the finer grits. Usually on a 120 grit you're not going to generate a lot, but I'm giving it time to cool off. And I'm checking it every pass. But, so I'm starting to feel a wire edge all the way along the, the cutting edge now. There's uh, none there. And a little bit at a tip. So I've got some right in that area that I need to spend a little time on. And I just slowed my pass down a little bit there and still got more. Now it's come. Now I've got a pretty good aggressive wire edge. As I drag my finger across, I can feel a wire edge all the way across there. Now I'm going to bring it over to this other side and we're going to be done on this grit. Check it, still need a little bit there. But really uh, good strong wire edge there. And no light spots there, no light reflecting showing there's there. A little thick right there, so I need to bring that wire edge just a little bit more right there. Okay, we're good. Now I'm going to switch uh, to a Norax and uh, continue to bring that down. That's where I really need to be concerned on the heat uh, to make sure I don't uh, ruin the temper on that blade. I'm using a 100X uh, Norax on these. It's a, it's a man-made AO, uh, really even abrasive, uh, leaves a fantastic finish. These don't like water, so if you're going to dip your blade, take the excess water off. If, the, if these get wet, uh, soaking wet, it, it's going to loosen up the abrasive. It's going to create uh, streaking that you're just not going to like. Uh, unfortunately, in the Norax, they tend to they last forever. I mean, they last a really long time to the point where the back always gets so dark and used up, um, you can't make out the grit. So I tend to take a magic marker and write right on the belt to uh, inside and out to to show what grit we're doing. Now I start with a 100X. These are microns, uh, so that makes uh, a little different than a traditional grit measurement. And a 100X micron in this particular belt tends to be somewhere around, uh, the, the Norton engineers say it comes out to about 120 grit. My experience has been that it comes out to something like 180, 220, that range, depending upon how you use it. I've got the speed down again. I could go full speed, but that generates so much heat so quickly. Uh, keep your speed down, keep your heat down so you don't wreck the edge. Now I'm going to feel which side has the wire edge. It's this side, so that's the side I'm going to start with. Just those few passes, I already moved the wire edge from this side to this side, just about the whole length of the blade, uh, except up for that part right there. Probably want that a little thicker anyway. Now I'm edge up just to show this for the video. Uh, I don't like to grind edge up when they're this sharp. You can if you want. I prefer not to. I'm going to switch the edge down here after this pass after uh, this belt.
Now, as you gain more experience in sharpening, you can skip some of these steps. Uh, it just worked for me. Uh, I have less go back and do overs as I get through and sharpen a blade all the way through. Um, I found that skipping a belt step for me always makes me go back and end up losing time, so I use four or five belts. Uh, use as many as you think you can get away with. So that's really all it takes. It takes uh, four or five passes on each one. That's 100x. Now we're going to switch to a 65. And, you know, the, the belt progression is really what's important. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Norax. I just prefer them. Uh, so that's going to be your choice. Basically, I go from a 120 to, say, a 220 to around a 400 and end up somewhere around probably an 1100, 1200 on the 5x Norax. Then I'll step over and, and touch it real quick on, on a buffer uh, just to knock off the final wire edge. All right, wire edge is on this side. I can feel it all along the whole blade. So I'll start on that side. And I'm going to start going edge down now. I can feel that already came over to the other side. No heat yet. Checking the edge and feeling the wire edge on every pass. I've got a nice even wire edge all the way. And I'm ready to we'll get we'll move that to the other side. Now I'm putting a little bit more pressure on this uh, than I did initially as I'm pushing in and making that convex come to life in that little slack area right there. That's really all there is to it, three or four passes. Now I can actually see the wire edge starting to come out as I brush through. You'll see that wire edge develop, and, and it's just that it comes off as a very light reflection uh, as you're looking at the blade. You can actually see that uh, metal elongate. Now different steels will have a different wire edge. Uh, S35V um, it will be different than 440C, will be different than ATS-34, but after you use steels for a while, you'll definitely want to see that wire starting to come out there. And uh, that shows that you're getting that wire edge, and I'm just straightening it out so you can see it. This is a 45X Norax. And that's going to be oh somewhere in a five six hundred. And I'm doing that from memory. I could sure be wrong on that. Okay, edge down. Uh, I can feel the wire there, so that's the side I'm grinding on. The wire's on this side. That's the side I'm grinding on. You can actually see the wire reflecting all the way along there. Trying to maintain that same angle as I press in. I'm checking my work. I can see where the light's reflecting on my grind and polish on that edge, and I've got a little bit more work to do up top here. Not in bad shape there. I can see the wires already moved to the other side. It just takes a few passes. So now that wire edge is actually getting longer. It's growing. And I can feel it all on the, the entire length of the blade, which is what you want. If you can't feel it, you're not getting that area sharp. So you have to go back and spend just a bit more time there. So now it's all moved over. I feel some heat coming into the blade, but nowhere near to uh, damage the temper.
So we've got a nice wire edge all the way through there. That's it on that side. Now I'm checking my work to make sure I don't have any uh, errant grind lines in there anywhere. And we're clean all the way. And that wire edge is really starting to come out. Now we've got one more belt and then we'll move over to the buffer and, and finish that edge and, and knock that wire edge off. But uh, now we're gonna go to the 5X, which is a 12, 1300 grit equivalent and really polish that and we'll get a nice mirror polish on there. Uh, really uh, silky smooth, takes out all the micro serrations or greatly reduces them rather. And uh, we'll be done. This is a 5X Norax. It's about a 12, 1300 grit. Wires on that side, so that's the side we're going to work on. Now we're polishing. Wire edge is a bit diminished now because I, I rolled into it a little bit more to try and knock it down. Uh, and I'm getting a real nice satiny finish. I can see some micro serrations there from an earlier grit. Just along that edge, I want to polish those out. So I got rid of most of that. A lot of the wire edge is starting to disappear. It depends on the steel. Um, at some point, you may have that wire edge clinging all the way through uh, final stage, and some guys' leathers drop off. I, I tend to use a buffer, but uh, a few more passes there, and we'll get a nice mirror finish on that side. Quick dip in the water. Okay, mirror finish on that edge. Still a little bit of a wire on the back side. Most of it's gone because as I, uh, I moved that to try and wiggle that off a little bit. Just a slight put, it won't uh, all the way. Let's go hit it on the buffer a little bit uh, with the green chrome and uh, knock off the, the remainder and put a final edge on that. Okay, we've got uh, green chrome uh, buff mounted and we're just gonna make a couple passes lightly along that, holding it at that same angle and a few passes back and forth just to put a micro polish on that very edge and to knock off any remaining wire edge on there. Doesn't take much buff. Really light. And that's it. It's uh, razor cutting sharp, just like that. That's hair popping sharp. You can have razor cut where the hair just goes over, or you can have it sharp enough where the hairs just pop out. That's it. Thanks. Stop by knifedogs.com, our knife form, the Share and Learn Network, and appreciate your business. This has been Tracy, USA Knife Maker.com. Thank you.